We are in Medina. We just pulled up to Brothers Antique South. I brought you here before and we're coming back again today and we brought our friend Debbie with us. So this is just outside on the porch. I can't wait to get inside and see what we can find today. Look at these. These are awesome. Let's get started. Look at this. Look at that face. This is twenty nine dollars. It's nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look how sweet he is. Debbie spotted him. <laughs> Look at his beard. <laughs> that is so cute. And you like those boxes? Mm -hmm. I think they're called shaker boxes. Sh but I'm not so sure. what would they have been used for? I like that too. A storage, I think. Yeah, Debbie likes this. I, I do too. Cat box. <laughs> Here's our mystery item today, oh, yeah. although my husband oh, pointed it out and he okay. knows what it is. So let me know if you know what this is. <laughs> See the V there? That's a clue. Look at this. This is so cute. I love that. $7.95. And look how it's all displayed with their string. This isn't really my thing, but I think these are just gorgeous. There's my friend Debbie. So I found this uh, wood spool. So I think I'm gonna put like some yarn around it so the grandkids can unravel it. I think they'll have oh, fun with that. Awesome idea. Unless it'll fit in with the vintage look in my house. So. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. Nice find. <laughs> He's doing some power shopping. <laughs> I found two things. Yeah. I just thought this cute. was adorable. Very vintagey looking. I love it. Good job. <laughs> Well, I forgot to tell you we're shopping for my Christmas presents today. <laughs> and I found my first one. Look at these adorable little angel ornaments. I would just use them as figurines. And they are $8.50. I'm trying to show you the tag. Well, you can trust me. That's how much they are. Debbie likes this little jolly thing here. A jolly thing. <laughs> That describes it, doesn't it? <laughs> and that's six dollars. And then there's a couple red books there she liked too. Oh, look at these, Debbie. Just spotted those. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to be quiet. This would be made out of like an old flannel shirt, I would guess. Um, trying to read it. Six dollars. Yeah, six dollars. Those are adorable. That is so cute. And they're soft. You want to feel one? <laughs> Very soft. Yeah, I, I say something. Those. These are so cute. Uh, this is number three. Okay. Oh, I see. Is that the vendor number? Must be. I like her little tags with the rooster. <laughs> Go ahead. Debbie found another mystery item. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Very strange. Yeah. You want to read the tag to them? What it says? It says cutting tool. Huh. Still doesn't really tell us yeah, much. Yeah, handmade it? cutting tool. Okay. Still don't understand. <laughs> Sounds like something for Mr. My Blessed Nest. <laughs> yeah. He'll have to explain it to us. <laughs> yeah. I found this box. I'm going to check with my friend Melody to see if she wants this. She's looking for a wooden box. Mr. My Blessed Nest Hi. found something. Hi. This is called a scriber. <laughs> Basically, this is adjustable. There's a scale here. You can see, and basically you loosen this, slide it to where you want, lock it down, and then the edge of this rides a piece of wood and this nail scribes a line at that distance from the edge. So this is gonna help you with your woodworking? If I use it for that, I mainly wanted it to display. Oh, but okay. I wanted one that worked in case I did want to use it. You've been looking for a long time long for that, time. huh? And it's $10. Wow, that's awesome. Good find. Thanks. Look what I found. It's so cute. And it's $4.50 and it's half price. All right, we're having some fun here we in the are. corner. <laughs> I found these two little, what uh, would you call these? Figurines, maybe? Figurines, or? yeah. My little grandson loves Winnie the Pooh. So Aww. Pooh and Christopher Robin. Awesome. Yep. Look where she found them. I showed this in my other video. I just love this because I'm a maximalist. <laughs> <laughs> Pack it in. 
She found more. <laughs> I found two little figurines for my granddaughters. I love them. They're Put so in their cute. stockings. I think they'll like these. Great idea. Oh. Good job. Look what I found. It's just laying here waiting for me. <laughs> Among the tools. I couldn't believe this. I was talking to Debbie and I was like, oh, look. He's so cute. Five fifty. I think I'm worth that for my Christmas present, don't you? I love flocked ornaments so much. Look at this gorgeous tree. It's got a metal stand. And I can't believe the price. I'm gonna show you. I had to set my stuff down. $72. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at this sweet little angel. She's $3. Oh, I think she's so cute. Look at all these adorable figurines here. Some angels. Can you guess which one I'm going to buy? We came back to PJ Marley's. It's PJ Marley's Restaurant and Pub. I don't know what the specials are today because they took their sign down and decorated for Christmas. We just got to this and that. Debbie, this is your first time here, right? First time. Woohoo! Look how pretty it looks. We are inside of this and that. Debbie's first time. Look what she yeah, found. Yeah, it is a cute little place. Oh, what you gonna do with that? So I was looking for a red book for a Christmas display and my Mr. Bless Nest found this and it's perfect because it's got red and green. Woo woo. Yeah. <laughs> <tried>. Awesome. <laughs> Look how cute this angel is. Sweet angel. That sure is sweet for three dollars. Mine. Here's a cute idea for a display with a Coffee can in a tree. Well, I copied that idea and it sold right away. Just give you an idea of one of the booths here and this and that. All decked out for Christmas. This is so cute. It's a little Christmas shaker decor and it's got a bottle brush tree in there. That's so cute. Okay, let's go back into this room and look and see what's going on in here. Ooh, lots of books. I love the look of those books like that. That reminds me of Nicole North Garden. She did a shelf like that. This looks like an army blanket. Yep, it is. My dad had those. My dad was in the army. Some bulbs. This is a neat idea for you booth people. You can put your bulbs or whatever you want to display in an enamelware container like that. I've noticed a lot of photographs, like vintage or antique photographs for sale at all the places I've been going. Ooh, this looks like Fiesta. Is it? Vintage Fiesta. I love the different shades of orange. That's cool. This is a neat, huge stocking. Some ornaments. Shiny brights. Four, twelve dollars for those. They're not all shiny brights, just the top one. Oh, that's cool. A bag of corks. I often need a cork for something. I have this bowl. Another neat display idea with the ladder, the old ladder. A couple longer burgers down there, I bet. It's a great display idea too, with the burlap and the board there, the insert, and then they just have like push pins to hang things. Oh, I love this garland. That is so neat. It's like a felt, made out of felt. That would be simple to make. <laughs> Look how cute this is though. It says, Handmade a little peep on nativity 850. I think this is supposed to be a manger with baby Jesus. <laughs> That's stellar. I think this is really a cute idea. A vintage jar with buttons and Christmas. 
Look how cute. Of course, I always love anything tied with that. And this reminded me of my grandma. She used to make these, but she never made a red one for Christmas. How sweet. This is one of my favorite booths here. So I always find things I like in it. Take a little look here. There's a thermos spotting back there. Oh, look at these shoes. Adorable red shoes, $13. Aren't those sweet? Those remind me of shoes my mom would have wore on me when I was a little girl. I love this stocking. Oh, it's so cozy looking. And how about this quilt? It's handmade and it's velveteen. That's really cool. Ooh, I like this radio. It works a little. <laughs> it's $19.99, isn't that cool? If I had room, I'd get that. That's a good deal. I like this little cupboard up here too. Anything with drawers. Ooh, I like this. I like the way they have the tree on the top, just like you would be taking it home from the tree farm and the wreath on the front. Look at these flannel shirts. Isn't that a unique idea? They have like screen printed or something on the back of them. That's really unique. I like the faded look it gives them too. I'm looking for a new nativity and I think this one's really cool. But I just started looking and I'm really not sure what exactly I want. Oh wait, this isn't. So it might be. Do you like it? <laughs> Look at the stable. It's very very rough roughly made. And there's baby Jesus. Look at these. These are vintage crocheted aprons for $8. I love these. I don't wear aprons, but I think they're just so pretty. They have the red and the green. These are really cute choir boys. It's all one piece. I've never seen a figurine like that. $3 from Japan. Look how cute this is. Debbie just found this. I walked right by it and didn't even see it. Wouldn't that be cute for a Christmas display? So here's these, what are they called? Strainers. I saw these last time I was here and meant to pick them up and forgot about them. But I've been thinking about them ever since. So do you think I buy them today? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, we're just coming into this area here called the Common Ground. It's an old pickle factory, and this truck is just darling. We did get to walk around inside and take a couple pictures, though. I would like to go back there. All right, we're at Brothers South, right? North. Oh, sorry, Brothers North. We're at Brothers North, and I found this nativity. I really like the simplicity and rusticness of it. Is rusticness a word, Debbie? <laughs> it is if you say it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's scan in and see that. I'm thinking about this. It is $12. Debbie gets credit for this one. She found the Avon for today. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a Mrs. Snow Light. I think she's cute. She's got a candle on top. Very, very cute. Well, I found the tacky Christmas. Looky, looky, looky. Do you like it? Are you team Tacky Christmas or not? Eight dollars. Have you found something? What did you get? Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at these trees all day and wanting to get one, but I yeah. didn't find one that was good price. So this one's eleven dollars, but it's thirty percent off. Nice. So good. I love it. Yep. I was watching a video with Beth from Carolina Sweet Treats and Pretties. And she showed these jewel bright ornaments and I fell hard for them. So I've been looking for them everywhere. These were adorable, but I did not want to pay $10 a piece for them. 
So stay tuned for my next video. And that's all I'm going to tell you. Just stay tuned. <laughs> have you ever heard of these and do you have any? Let me know in the comments below. Debbie found these at Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. Yeah. And the two of them together were only $14. That's awesome. That was an amazing deal. Look at their faces. And there's so much detail. Yeah, those are, that was from this and that, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Good score. Yeah, definitely. Anything else you got in that there trunk? I think we've uh, seen everything else. Oh! She bought it. She How bought it. it. Yeah. I showed you this at this and that and she bought it. I think my granddaughters are gonna love it. So cool. Yep, they love, I love the it. print. Nice find. These last two clips are from the Goodwill in Medina. We made a quick stop on our way out of town. I didn't purchase anything, but stay tuned for my next video and I'll show you everything I got for Christmas. Mm -hmm.